Hey, fellas, I was uh, looking at the Discord, and Mr. K sent me a video uh, of the newest Defining Duke, where Maddie and Lord Incognito were talking. And what came up, uh, I know it's not live yet, I think it'll go live for everybody Monday, who's not a Patreon member on Last Stand Media, is when I did this Constellations episode a couple days ago last week, uh, I said this, uh, and then on Defining Duke, it got back uh, to Lord Incognito, who I called out specifically, called out, it's kind of like an aggressive word, it wasn't, you'll see, you, t- you tell me, but I, I want to I talk about this briefly, but here, here, here's what the, uh, here's the little clip from the show, again, this goes live on Monday uh, for most people. I will say, and I, I, don't, I don't mean to come after, you know, Defining Duke, uh, okay. But I know it's different between sacred symbols and defining Duke in the sense that, like, I don't think you'll ever see Colin Moriarty out there in the world uh, at a breakfast with uh, 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 Scott Rohde smiling like in this cool that we got to eat breakfast with Scott Rohde. Like there's a there's a wall there that I think allows us to be able to go. He doesn't give a shit, Mm -hmm. but I know defining Duke gives more of a shit. You know, I've seen pictures that you guys have put up with the executives and all that stuff. And and I just I find it it's like on one hand, it's good marketing for you guys. Right. Because it's Mm -hmm. like you guys are like, look, guys, we're connected. And I think there's value to your personal brand of defining Duke. But at the same time, I kind of go, don't give these guys don't don't present these guys as special Mm -hmm. Um, because in doing that, I think it kind of adds to that. um lack of uh, genuineness about the reporting that a lot of people could, could potentially have, you know what I'm saying? It's mm. like, I, 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 and I, and I, and I but, the, but to the bigger point though, I think that's what allows Xbox maybe to get a little bit more love is that they do that well. And they, they're working, they're working the room. Phil Spencer is not your friend. Sarah Bond is not your friend. I'm not saying they're not good people. And in real life, they couldn't be your friend, but, they're not your fucking friends when they're a depressed event. I've been on that side. I was working the room too. It's all performative. It's all to get the brownie points. Um, and I just kind of, I wish they weren't so good at it, but I wish even more the fanboys or the, 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 the news people that cover them weren't so susceptible to it because I certainly think that contributes not as much as the generational thing I was talking about. But certainly they're better at it, and it seems to work. So why not keep doing it? I mean, what do you think about that, Maddie? I mean, do you agree that that maybe is isn't the best for your brand, mm-hmm. or do you think it brings value when you guys are out there doing that kind of stuff? No, I, I actually appreciate you said that. I, I love talking about this type of stuff. Um, I think there's a fair argument to, to both sides. Not to not to fence ride for a moment here, but just more so to say that I think it's fair if people look at like I'm trying to think. In my defense, I'm trying to think of a picture of me with an Xbox exec. I don't know if I have. No, but, I'm but, thinking of the one recently. Um, with Redfall event? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, what's his name? Iron. He's on Iron Lords. I love Cog, him. Cog. Yes, yes. He did one with Sarah Bond recently. Oh, from, okay. And I, but, yeah. but there were there were many. It wasn't just him. Yeah. Tons of these yeah. pictures of lots. There was there was Aaron Greenberg at, at, at breakfast with a bunch of Xbox journal journalists or whatever the influencers. But yeah, I, I, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I, I think it's fair to say. I think it's fair if like people think there's a. So I'll, I mean, you know, I don't I don't want to just you know show you Colin stuff. This is his property. It comes out next week or in a couple of days. You can watch the rest of it there. But the gist of it uh, was is that I was talking about. Uh, well, you know what I was talking about. So I, I think I was pretty clear there. Uh, talking more about in general the the both the value and the dangers and and yes uh lord incognito who i am a fan of i am a fan of iron lord's podcast um i like those guys a great deal but you know he was top of mind because he was the most recent picture i had seen before we recorded this constellations and um yeah i just you know i'm I'm not going to play the defining duke for you i mean incognito or cog i don't know him i don't want to call him cog i don't really know him that well but what i know of him I'll just call him incognito. How about that? Uh, you know, he had a, he had a very good explanation. I don't take issue with his explanation. I think I, I hope my here's my point. My hope my point is I hope it came across as intended, which was more of a philosophical discussion about 
the pros and cons and what I personally like and dislike when it comes to engaging with uh, your subjects. And I know that a lot of these folks don't like, you know, uh, Cognito was saying they look at Iron Lords as much as sort of giving information to the audience as much as it is that as it is a celebration of games. And that's great. You know, it's like they've, they've got their their you know, world in which they say, this is how we're going to do it and, 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 you know, go with God. But to me, it was more of a conversation about, you know, what are the pros and cons that come with buddy buddying up to these people? And yes, there are people who are able to sort of, you know, get the pictures, have the relationships, but still be absolutely non-biased, but it still does send a message in my opinion. And I wanted to talk about that. Um, so that's that's kind of what was going on, but I, I I did appreciate sort of the the gracious kind reply from uh, Cog on defining Duke. I recommend checking it out if you're interested in this subject. If you're watching this video this long, you potentially are. Um, and I, you know, what I, the only thing I'll say is I think because I've been on both sides now, because I have worked the room before, it doesn't mean I was full of shit and lying all the time. I wasn't. I never lied, but. I know the dance and a big part of, I guess, my brand, such as it is, is I want to reveal the dance. I don't like that people fall for the dance, right? Um, it bothers me. It bothers me that there are things I can see when it's so much horse shit and it's clear there are people out there that really buy it. I don't mean incognito and those guys. I mean, just maybe the audience is like, oh, you know, this is cool. So, uh, anyway, that's my take. But uh, anyway... Maddie, nice to meet you the other day. Cog, I'm a fan. I remain a fan. I appreciate your response on Defining Duke. Maybe we can do a conversation about this and all kinds of stuff someday. But uh, I will see you guys soon and be well. And uh, watch Constellation. Comes out uh, Monday for everybody. See ya.